What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a really quick and easy blowout tutorial for you. I'm using the Blow Me Away from Mermaid Hair. This is their blow dry brush. You guys are gonna die. It just gives me, as you can see, just the most beautiful, sleek, shiny, bouncy blowout. This video is sponsored by Mermaid Hair. I wanna say thank you so much to Mermaid Hair for sponsoring this video. I can't wait to show you guys how I get this really like I said, shiny, sleek, bouncy blowout in literal minutes. Like this tool is so easy to use and the result is really just gorgeous. So I'm obsessed with this. If you guys want to learn how to get this type of salon quality blowout on your own at home, then keep on watching. guys so let's get right into it i just washed my hair and i let it dry for probably about i don't know 20 30 minutes in my little microfiber towel so my hair feels about like 50 percent wet at this point i want it to get a little bit more dry before i start so first thing i'm going to do is just brush my hair this is the mermaid hair heat resistant brush it is a perfect brush for like detangling so i'm just going to kind of brush through i like to start on the ends and then work my way up And really the point of this right now is to just get my part in place. So I'm doing a middle part and however I want my hair to dry, this is how I'm gonna part it. All right, there we go. I think I'm gonna give my hair like another five minutes, let it dry like this. And then I'm gonna come back and we will start styling. Okay, we are back. I sprayed a little bit of heat protector in my hair and now we're gonna start going in with the mermaid blow dry brush. So the brush looks like this. It has three different heat settings. So depending on your hair type and the amount of heat you wanna put on your hair, you can decide. And then it has this Ionic oval barrel for really easy styling. That Ionic technology is going to do a little less damage on your hair. It's gonna reduce frizz and keep your hair glossy, shiny, beautiful. So let's get started. So I'm gonna start with the bottom layer of hair. So I'm just gonna kind of grab this top section like this. I'm gonna clip this up. And then we're just gonna style the bottom lower section first. This is gonna just speed up the process and allow you to style your hair a little, like have a little more control over the way you style it. So I'm gonna start on the second setting. So not the cool, not the hot, just the general heat setting. Just gonna kind of run that through the hair a couple times and then I'm gonna go to hot. And you'll see I'm just kind of turning the barrel as I go. I really wanna get the ends to curl under so we have a big bouncy blowout. little trick to get your blowout to last longer is to hit it with a cool shot once you're done and it's gonna hold that shape in place this is cool now so there you go you can see we have really shiny soft hair and we have this little curl and once the whole head's done you're gonna see kind of how it goes together but I'm gonna kind of continue this process on the other side and then we'll work our way through the hair so I have pretty fine hair so these layers are pretty thin if you have thicker hair it's gonna take you like a little bit longer, but I'm telling you this blow dry brush speeds things up and it makes drying your hair so easy. I only wanna do three sections and honestly, I could probably get away with not sectioning off my hair, but like I said, this just allows you to have a little bit more control over how the blowout turns out. So once we move on to this middle section, this is when I'm gonna wanna be holding the barrel up a little higher and pulling the hair out because I wanna create this lift in this body from the root. And then same thing at the bottom, just twisting this and curling it under with the heat on and then hitting it with a cool shot. Look at how shiny and look how bouncy this already is. 
All right, let's keep going. Okay, moving on to the top layer. This is the most important layer because obviously this is what everyone sees the most. So we want this to have a ton of body and shine, which it will. Same exact process. We'll do the front pieces first because I actually do my front pieces a little bit differently because they're a little shorter. So if you have any type of curtain bang or shorter pieces in the front, this is how I love to do these pieces. Just make sure I have them here and I'm just gonna wrap them and blow dry them this way. So away from my face. This is best to do when they're a little damp. So you could do this first, but my hair is pretty easy to style this way. So I can do them now too. I'm just gonna hold it here. Again, hit it with that cool shot. I'm gonna let it go. And you can see these pieces have a ton of body. Just gonna find that middle part again. And now they're like these really cute little swoopy curtain bangs. We'll touch those up a little bit at the end, but you can kind of see it coming together. So I will continue this process around the top layer of my head and I'll show you guys the final result. see how fast that was that top layer took I don't know not even 30 seconds Here is the final blowout, you guys. Look how beautiful. I can't get over how sleek and shiny this makes my hair, but I also have this balance in this body that is just, it's perfect. This is my go-to tool for just a gorgeous blowout, super easy and quick. Yeah, I can't say enough good things about this. So I will put links and product description in the description box below for you guys. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick blow dry blowout tutorial and I will see you next time. Bye.